for us. We celebrate your holiness. Thank you for this Thanksgiving Sunday in which also we are giving thanks for you that this church is three years old. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for where you have been bringing us from. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your church. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the signs and wonders that you are doing among us. Lord, we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we go into your word today, Lord, speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Deliver us from ignorance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Deliver us from ignorance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, deliver us from ignorance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, the world we hear today, Lord, let it have an impartation in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Let someone shout hallelujah. Let someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome to this glorious service. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God for what God is doing among us. It's glorious. And I believe God that today God is going to visit every one of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said God is going to visit someone in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has the capacity to do everything on earth. Please take note of that very well. God has the capacity to do anything on earth. Can you say that with me? God has the capacity to do anything on earth. Okay. Because he is the one that made the heaven and the earth. So he can change whatever he wants to change. He can make anything that he wants to make happen. So if you live here on earth, God has power over you. That's right. And he can make anything happen to you. That's right. I believe somebody is going to be blessed again today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Last Sunday we said it's our month of mighty miracles and, and I believe God that people are coming back with testimony. Amen. And I, I think today you can hear some few testimonies. Now, this is the first Sunday of this the month of December. I'm also believing God today again that because we're in this season of this mighty miracles, whatever miracle that you are still expecting that has not shown up, it will show up this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say it will show up this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, when I am making this kind of declaration, I want you to type, type your belt very well because you must not visit in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you must not visit in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 51, <laughs> verse 20. Jeremiah 51, 20. You are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you, I will break the nation in pieces. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. With you, I will break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you, I will break in pieces the chariot and its rider. Amen. With you also, I will break in pieces man and woman. Amen. With you, I will break in pieces old and young. With you, I will break in pieces the young man and the maiden. With you also, I will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you, I will break in pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen. 
and with you I will break in pieces governors and rulers. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now let's stop there. I will just even ask her to read only verse 20. But it's good that you read all these things to ensure you can have understanding of where we are going this morning. God has a sword. God has a sword. And I want to introduce that sword to you this morning. God has a sword. And I want to introduce that sword to you this morning. <laughs> Most times, why things don't, don't work is because we don't know the use. We don't know the use, that's why things don't work. Not because they don't work. There is something called knife. Now, because you already know what knife is used for, so you go and use it. But there are people who don't even understand what knife yeah. is used for. Yeah. You think, I can, I can use that, something like that. Yes, there is. There is. So I said, God has a sword. <laughs> he has a sword. And I'm going to show you what is the sword of God this morning. So many times, God wants to cut so many things. But because we are not aware what is the sword of God, that thing remains here and is not caught. And we keep on wasting time in prayer. Praying wrongly. But today, I believe as you get this understanding, your miracle will come to your hand. Amen. I say your miracle will come to your hand. Amen. God has a sword. God has a sword. God has a sword. And whatever that is hanging around you, that you need to be cut off. Today, with this sword, they will be cut off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if there is cancer in your body, today, this, that sword will cut it off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever any sickness that is in your body, that the doctor has pronounced, today, with this sword of God, those sickness will be cut off in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has a sword. And the sword is not Talanon. The sword is what other medicine did they use here? Those are not sword. They can't, they can't cut anything. People have cancer, they say they should go for <coughs> chemo. And the chemo kill them. Chemo is not the answer to, to cancer. Is the sword. And so if the sword is there, and the sword doesn't know the important, the use is use. It's a useless sword. But today you are going to get the wisdom. Amen. And then you will begin to be able to operate in that realm. Amen. Where God has called you to. Amen. I know that even it's not only you that I hear that's going to get the miracle. Anyone watching this 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 thing on the media, they will also get their miracle too in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why I want us to read that prophet Jeremiah and see what God said there. 